This video is gonna be about the upstream oxygen sensor from this Renault Clivo. The short end fuel trim goes up and down very nicely because the narrow band oxygen sensor will need a rich and lean condition and that's why we've got as well on the fuel trims, on the short term fuel trim, the rich and lean condition, which is basically again an interpretation of the oxygen sensor voltage. Let's unplug the connector. Then we've got a metal clip here. And then usually it will come out by hand. Now this is a regular four pin connector. Usually the white wires are gonna be for the heater core. As you can see, there are nine ohms of resistance. So this is within spec in general, you're gonna find like 10 ohms. Now let's turn the voltmeter to 20 volts. Let's turn on the ignition and see what voltage values we're gonna read here. Let's check between the first pin and the second. We've got 0 0.31 volts between one and three, 0 0.06 between one and four, We've got the car battery voltage between 2 and 3, 0 0.24 between 2 and 4, 11.50, 4 and 5. We've got again the car battery voltage. The car battery is on charge right now. In theory, if we warm up the sensor and bring it to the operating temperature, we're gonna see a voltage change in here. So let's see. Okay, you can see how the voltage is increasing and that's perfect, that's what you wanna see. Ah, we've got the ignition off now. Anyway, you can see the voltage decrease in there. This car will turn off the ignition automatically because the sensor was reading a rich condition where the oxygen is not present because we've got the flame on it, so the flame is burning the oxygen. Then once we took off the flame, you could see the voltage drop immediately because the sensor was on the operating temperature and it began to detect oxygen. This is probably the most easiest test you can do on an oxygen sensor on a gasoline engine. If you have a scan tool which gives you live data of the voltage of the sensor, Depends. On this car it works, you can do this test. So with the previous test what you are actually doing is that you are simplifying the oxygen sensor operational process and you have 100% control over the period when the oxygen sensor can get rich and when it can get lean. So you can see it in front of your eyes when you remove the flame, the oxygen sensor will read immediately lean condition. Now let's install back this sensor. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it about the oxygen sensor on this car. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care and I will see you in the next video.